Hey guys, my name is Nibiri and it's time for another kicking of the week and today we're gonna continue our track by making a nice build up. So I've been doing some things off screen, I've been working on the mix down and I've also added some effects and well let's just first listen to it and after that we're gonna break everything down and then we're gonna continue making a nice build up. I don't want to fit in. I don't want to be normal. And that's it for now. And I just felt I would need some type of fill or something that just changed it up. So I made these two uh, identical fills. And they were made quite easily actually. Let me just show you. The first part of this bass fill is this preset and I found this in Serum. It's called Bass Dropper underneath the bass and art section. And well, I just automated the cutoff and a little bit of the pitch bend so we get this sound. And then we have the second part and that's just another preset that I found in the same bass heart folder and that one's called Gritter. And we just automated a little bit of the LFO rate on this one and then we created this sound. Now those two sound separately sound all right but together they make that nice fill. And now that you know how this bass fill works I just added a kick drum and this kick drum is straight out of kick 2 and it's just the basic sine wave. I've just added a little bit of a top kick layer from Cashmere on here. I just give it a little bit more presence and I just added a clap kind of offbeat because I just felt it worked. And as a separate sound that clap doesn't really work but in the full spectrum of the entire thing it just fits. And to really finish up the bass drum I just routed that separate bass drum from kick 2 and the top kick layer to one bus. And on this bus I just glued it together with a little bit of compression and I left some room on the attack so that the transient would really just push through and after that the compression would kick in. So it's a little bit more transient. Now these fills together they work quite well but they don't really work yet with the full ID that we have over here with the ARP. And I just had a creative ID that's gonna solve that really quickly. So what I did is I took my microphone and well since the main focal says I don't want to fit in I was thinking like it's something that we're always just forced to. We need to fit in in a certain way, in a certain system to just work and just be successful as adults. And well, I just wanted to create some type of vocal that's kind of sounding like the voice in the back of your mind. Like you need to fit in, you can't do something that you want. You just have to fit in, you know? And I just started whispering like you need to fit in. And I really feel that the whisper together with the vocal and the fills just really work together as a message to show you that you don't need to fit in and that you can be yourself. And while the bear whisper sounds like this, you have to fit in. But of course I added some effects on this. I started with a low cut. You have to fit in. And then I added a little altar boy. And this little altar boy is just pitched down low with the foreman down a little bit and quite some drive. And this just starts creating a little bit more of a demonic type of effect underneath here. But I just pulled down the mix a little bit so that it doesn't take over all the way. You have to fit in. Then to make it a little bit more kind of whispery, I added the grow speed and I took one fourth of a gate and I just started dragging this up. You have to fit so then it sounds a little bit more like a whisper again. And we're going to clean this up a little bit with some compression because then we don't have that much of a transient in the full vocal. And we're going to clean this up with some EQ, adding just a little bit of highs because that's where the clarity of the vocal is. And it just made it a little bit more understandable. And then we're going to finish this off with some uh, Valhalla Room. Just a little bit of reverb to put it a little bit in the mix. And then the final field that I still needed to show you guys is this one. And I made this one by myself and basically you can see it's kind of the same as the tails. Um, you just take the random down so that you have the same sound all the time. And I just started playing with a random wavetable, ended up with Reezy Mass 4. And I just put the LFO on the wavetable position and just start making a weird wave shape with this. And that's just because all these single notes over here, we just want them to sound a little bit different each time. So we're just making something weird. And I added the comb plus filter to this. 
and on this comb plus filter i only have this short bit of movement and that's only just for these fast notes over here so that they sound a little bit different then just distorting it and using a hyper if you'd want to you can just create some extra spacing but you don't need to per se add the hyper now the eq is just the same thing with the tails i just like to put a low cut underneath here and just start playing around with it so that the lows really fit together with the rest of the sounds on top of that let me just show you and just 45 worked the best in this little preset and after that i just added an extra filter and this filter just basically opens up so that we don't have the loud highs in the beginning because that could sound a little bit too abrupt and I just liked it a little bit better like this. So what I want to do today is I want to add some percussion for the build up and a little bit of the breaks and after that we're going to build a sound that's going to build the drive for the build up. And the core percussive sounds that I like to use for my build ups always come from Dromazon. And Dromazon has a little bit of movement with the percussion in there so it just sounds a little bit more natural. And let's just start off with a ride. Let's just put this right underneath our fills over here and over here I'm not sure yet because we need to have that sound for the build up. I create the reality. I think like this it fits quite nicely in the mix. Let's just maybe add a clap or a snare and I think then we're gonna build that drive sound for our build up. And now that I add this snare, I'm gonna add my effects chain for snares from Dromazon. And if you wanna know how this chain works, just check my channel because I already made a video on this and it just explains really well how that whole chain works. Let's just add the hull kick over here and after that I want to add a little bit of the bass drum to just have a little bit of a foundation for the build up and let's just after that make that build up sound.
Let's also just extend the rights a little bit more. Let's also just add a snare over here. And then I want to add effect tricks on this whole chain. And effect tricks is just going to help make the build up for the snare. Let's just put it to something like a big size, like one fourth. And let's just see how we can create a nice loop with this. Something like that will work for now, but we can always fine tune that later. Now it's time to create the drive element for the build up, and I feel a something like a salt type of street thingy will work. And well, we need a rhythm for that, of course, and after that, we're gonna create the sound in Serum. So let's just listen to the whole thing and after that I think coming up with a rhythm won't be that hard. I don't want to fail. I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be someone else. I create my own reality. I think a rhythm like this will work and it will fit the build up, but let's just create a sound with this.
I just changed a little bit of the melody because I think the sound will work, but it just didn't really work with that longer note. And um, let's just add a little bit of that multiband compressor that we have inside of Serum over here, since it's just the same as OTT and it just works really well. We're just going to increase a little bit of these mids and a little bit of the highs as well. And let's just listen, maybe just give it a little bit more of power. And it's a little bit of a weird type of screech, but I think this will fit. Just listen. Let's just play the whole thing. I don't want to fade. I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be someone else. I create my own reality. I think that really works for the build-up and that's gonna be it for today. I hope you liked this and learned something from this and hopefully I'll see you back soon again. Cheers!